welcome to Landria Anka on YouTube, here to provide the tools for you to manifest anything. It is possible, that is what you are, there is nothing else, and everything you see has been created. It's part of quantum physics. In other words, we have the ability to manifest anything based on our concentration, our focus on something. A wave turns into a particle. This is science. Why are we not believing this? We don't believe that we are powerful beings, and I'm here to tell you that I've given you many, many exercises. So I'm just going to briefly go over this right now because I want you to remember that everything that you're doing right now is creating your reality, all of it. It's not your mom. It's not your teacher that told you you were never going to amount to anything. It's not your spouse who abuses you. You've invited these things into your life for specific reasons. Now, we don't always know what those reasons are, but you can probably pretty much guess that at every moment, it's always just an opportunity to become something higher and greater than what exists here. Right? We're in a dense planet, so we're on a lower frequency, which means things are happening here that are outside of what we truly are and what we've known when we go to the other side. So when we come down here, it's very foreign. It feels uncomfortable. It just doesn't feel right. Many of you feel like, you know, you're not home. I've, I've always felt that. Never felt very comfortable on this planet. It's because this isn't where we come from. This is an experience. And there's a purpose for this. Everything has a very specific purpose. When you know this, then you can begin to understand the lessons in it and create that higher frequency life of yours, which will change absolutely everything. But we get stuck in, in where we are and we blame other people, the husband who now is a jerk. Well, you know what? You have a situation here where you can look at it and say, what did I do along the way to contribute to this? I chose the person. Then I had kids with the person. Then I had another kid with the person. I hear that all the time. Oh, you didn't know he was abusive and then you had a second child? We are part of it. We don't want to take that responsibility. And maybe we were in a dense place at the time. So don't be tough on yourself. This is all part of your ascension. So then you look and say, yeah, I totally went along with that. So that was a part of you at the time. I look at the things that I've done in my life that I think, well, I would have done that different, but at the time, that's not who I was. I was totally in alignment with what was going on with the person you were with or the job you were in. And what happens is later on, especially with jobs, later on you are in pain, you're suffering because you're no longer in alignment with the marriage, with the job, with what you're earning or anything else. You're not in alignment anymore. So maybe you, your, uh, your frequency has gone up and it's not a cool job anymore. You don't like what they're doing or how they're treating you. And, and all of these things are going on that are opportunities for you to ascend, to raise your frequency. But we don't. We stay where we are. We stay in the marriage. We stay in the job. We stay broke and, and struggling. So I'm here to tell you that all of these videos that I do that give you one step, two steps, three seconds, 10 seconds, all giving you different ways that maybe connect with you, maybe one connects, maybe all of them connect, that you can simplify this because it really is simple. It is the focus on whatever it is that you are thinking about. What you're thinking about it is creating. That's it. That's it. And everything within that is a frequency and a vibration. A vibration is makes these glasses and this body, and they're all made up of the same thing, but different vibrations create material items, frequencies within it, such as a human being. So we all, let's say we're dense, we're dense, you know, bodies, but I can have a frequency different to you, right? So the higher frequency that you have, the more that this changes, the more experiences you will have out here because you are not connecting to other things on that frequency. Joyful people, a boss that does respect you, a higher paying job, all these things because there's no barriers. When you focus, you're looking out here now and you're thinking about that job and you're complaining about it and blaming other people, you're gonna stay right in that frequency and create more of it. It's that simple. So when I have you switch from a negative thought Boom, positive thought. I'm getting you off of that focus. That's all I'm doing. When you have a negative thought or you think about something, what's the story I'm telling myself? 
I need to change the story. Need, need. In a, we're using the N word in a positive way. I need to change that story to change my life, to change my manifesting, to change my quantum field. Because that frequency I'm on that is negative, right? It's lower frequency. It's a story I keep repeating will keep me in that reality. I switch over to a different story. I am now in a new reality. Even if you don't truly believe it, you're no longer focusing on the negative story, right? You're not looking at it anymore. You're looking at the new one, even if you don't believe it. And you, you need to believe it. At least you've got off. You've got yourself off the negative story. And that's what I keep trying to help you to do, is to get off the focus on that negative thing that keeps you in that reality. What do you think about somebody? You can change every single story. My boss is a jerk. Boom. My boss is just another person on this planet trying to make his or her way. That boss over there is just another beautiful soul that is actually challenging me to see if I'm awakened or not. How am I going to treat them? And I, and I can treat my boss differently and, and he or she and I are going to connect on a different level. And then you go back in the office, you see them differently. Your story just changed. You're no longer the victim and he's an ass, right? So then you start to treat your boss nicer. You bring your boss a coffee and look like, What's this about? I don't know. I know you like coffee. I thought I'd bring you a coffee. And then every day, you do just a, something a little bit different, and, and the boss softens. That frequency, that frequency now changes in, in the boss because they're picking up on your more positive frequency, and your story about them is changing the frequency between the two of you because we are all entangled. We are all entangled. There's nothing that happens with you or I that doesn't affect each other. That's why when somebody walks in the room, you feel that energy. So you go in, and then all of a sudden, he's a little bit nicer to you. And then pretty soon he comes over and says, you know, I've got this project. I was thinking of giving it to, you know, Bob, but I, I think I'm going to give it to you. And that's how it works. All right? It's really that simple. But you know what? We're so stuck in our own our own density that we think we're right. And that's just your ego, and it's equally lower Equally low is the boss who yells at you or the parents who abused you. You're right down there with them and you don't think so. But blame is just keeping the lower frequency of we're all separating ourselves, blaming each other. They did this. They, hey, by the way, I've never met a parent that was abusive that didn't have abuse in their own childhood. It just perpetuates. You must stop the story now. The negative story stops here. You got a negative spouse, it's time to walk. You're not going to change them. And you give them warning. Or if that's dangerous, you get your butt out of there and you figure out to take care of yourself. Don't say, well, I can't take care of myself. Yes, you can. Change the story. I totally can. I'm going to go find the resources. I'm going to meet with a woman's or men's group and find out how I can change this situation. Take the steps to be safe for myself and my family. And I'm going to get my butt out of there and change my life. All right? Spiritual butt kick. Everyone, every one of these videos is a spiritual butt kick. Sign up for the playlists. <laughs> I'm going to change the playlist. I got way too many there. I got to focus. All right. So all of these steps that I'm giving you are getting the focus off of that which is not serving you. It's what exists already or what you think about it that's negative and getting you to start to focus and every little bit that you do every day to get off that negative thought is shifting you, shifting you big time. And you don't, you may not think, oh, well, I just shifted my thought a few times in a day. You are no longer in the same reality. Because the other reality was down here, down here, and down. The minute you do something a little bit positive, you're now on a different trajectory. That's it. All right? So you can create anything. There are no real rules. But we, we agreed to certain things. When we came here in these bodies on this planet, we agreed to the game rules. Now, some people don't like it when I say game. You can call it whatever you want. Call it whatever you want. But really... If it's not real, it's an illusion, because what you are is not this. So for me, that's a game. It's sort of like, how, how much can I you know, accelerate within this game? How, mu you know, how much can I learn from this and figure out what it is, and that, that I'm not this, and that I can create anything? And that's the toughest thing, is to know your power. So all of these steps, 
change the thought and I'm going to actually go into why do some people excel? I'm going to go do this one video after this. Why do people excel? I'm going to give you another one huge step. All right, so just remember, every single thing counts. Every story, every thought, all of it is an accumulation of changing your reality. And the more you focus on the higher level, you stop blaming, you start forgiving. Every choice in a higher frequency puts you in alignment with other high frequencies. And trust me, that's where you want to be. That's why you came here. Let's do it. You're whole and perfect, strong and powerful, loving, harmonious, and happy. Blessings to you, my friend. Namaste.